Technocamon 18T gives us a 5000mAh battery and an 18W charger out of the box. It gives us a Type-C connectivity. Let's see how long it takes to charge the battery. And while it charges the battery, we can take a look at some of its interesting features. Camon 18T is offering us Helio G85 gaming chipset, 4GB RAM and 128GB internal storage, and you can add a memory card as well. The front is a 6.8 inch display that gives 1080 into 2460 pixel resolution and instead of a notch there is this dot hole for holding the camera. So talking about the camera, the front holds 48 megapixel ultra clear selfie camera and on the rear side we get 48 megapixel base triple lens setup, rest of the two lenses are 2 megapixel for bokeh and 2 megapixel for macro. So our charging test is finished here and we are getting 2 hours and 30 minutes charging time on this phone. Do you remember Vivo Y21 also gave us an 18W charger and 5000mAh battery but it charged in less than 2 hours. Then we had Realme Narzo 50i with 5000mAh battery with a charging time of 3 hours so we can see that Camon 18T is falling right in the middle. But how good the battery is with everyday use, let's find out. It can easily give you an entire day of backup. It can drain 10% battery in an hour if you run social media apps on it. And if you happen to constantly shoot video from it, since there is a film mode inside and you would definitely want to make some creative videos, you can expect 20 to 22% drain in an hour. And for gamers, the drain is much better on PUBG. Camon 18T gave us some 7 hours of battery backup in a back to back gaming session. It consumed 14% battery in an hour. By the way, PUBG runs on HD graphics, but I'm not very impressed with the display's sharpness and colors. Now let's run the movie in a loop and find out for how long Technocamon 18T survives. On Intuitu, this phone is giving us 221980, which is not different than Infinix Note 11 score. But Infinix Note 11 has a Helio G88 chipset. If you want to increase the battery backup time, there are some helpful tools in the battery setting area. You can turn on the battery saver. If you are low on the battery and want to increase the battery time, turn this feature on. This will shut down the background activity and also reduce some visual features to put less burden on the battery. You can also stop different apps to wake up the screen and even shut them down if you turn off the display. This will save the battery life, but it will also stop you from getting notifications. So here we reach at the end of the battery drain test and we are getting 14 hours and 27 minutes. It is marginally better than Vivo Y21, but it was way too behind Infinix Note 11. Note 11 gave us over 19 hours of backup in this test. So this was the battery test video of Technocamon 18T. Guys, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.